Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Under Rail. We know for fight the heavy weapons guy. Yes, we have a heavy weapon now. Um, we're trying to get some money on board. We have a lot of stuff to trade, but they're not buying anything we have. That's a bummer. That's a bummer. We have to get rid of some of our weight. So what we're going to do, we're going to the weapons dealer and selling as much as we can. And what we cannot sell will drop on the ground right in front of him. So that next time um, we come to him and we don't have anything to offer, but he has new money or new stuff that we can trade then. It is a little bit uh, frightening that we run through a city with a light machine gun and nobody's, you know, concerned in any sort of form. But that's good with me. Uh, he's buying weapons, which is nice. The question is, how many is he buying? Not all of them, obviously. Is he selling anything we could use? We could use this to repair our weapon. The question is, is it worth repairing? This is 6 to 11. Ours is 4 to 9. So our weapon is actually terrible. But we want these things, okay, of course. Um, let's look at our weapons. What are they worth? I think this is more worth. Let's put all the weapons there and see for what he offers the most. And then those with the lowest value we put out so that's fine traps are the key to everything in my eyes so that's the reason we're doing this this is an electronic repair kit the small version how much for one yeah no no because yes this is a good uh combat knife it is not really good. It's okay, but not more than that. There are some traders here, so there's not just one of these guys. There is um, more, but I'm not sure they're going to sell or to buy our stuff anyway. Hmm. <coughs> Okay, he's not buying that much anyway. So this is the maximum he's willing to buy. Okay, but in case of closed combat weapons, he's not buying a lot of those either. Um, how about boots? At least he's buying boots. How about armor? The armor I sell is horrible. Horrible. Oh boy. No better. Does he have anything we absolutely need? This is interesting, but it is also 9mm. It does a lot more damage than ours does for the same amount of action points. But uh, we're not going to waste money on that one. We could, should not. Uh, that makes no sense. We can go for the belt. All mechanical damage is reduced by five. Normally I would go for a different belt. But this is actually a good belt for us. In this case. We cannot wear the ar uh, the armor by now. This is a good piece of armor. Holy hell. And we could use it. Cannot wield two-handed weapons. <laughs> I see the problem. I do. I do. Okay, at least he's buying some of our stuff. Um, how much? How much for this? <sighs> That's costly, and I still hope I can find one for free. Okay, with that being said... Let's take the stuff, get right in the middle of the room, and then drop as much as we can. Or we don't need. 
If we run into someone who buys all that stuff, fine, fine. Then we'll uh, we'll go back here and and get it. At the moment, we're okay. Our main mission now is to run around here and steal everything that is not nailed to the ground by force. Everything else will be taken. Um, sort that for a second. This goes down, this goes down, this goes down. We're still heavily loaded. Um, this can go down. We're with the hammer, that's okay. We'll get the ammunition out of this and drop that. That's okay. Put this on top of each other. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We have good skills in terms of pickpocketing. Which is good enough to steal from his battle gu personal guard, which is excellent. Oh boy, um Let's see what we can get out of this mess. He has ammunition and healing stuff that we gladly take. Remember, uh whenever you get into the red, they caught cat they catch you, and when they catch you all hell will break loose. Everyone will be an enemy for the rest of the game and there is no way to get them happy again. It's not like they forget your face or anything. I mean, I'm even wearing a, a mask, a perclava, so technically speaking, they don't know who I am. Technically speaking, of course. Ooh, I want this. Yeah, we can steal that from someone else. Everyone has one of these icons, depending on which side there are. And yes, they're worth... Ooh, look at that. That is good. That is a really good weapon. I like it. I like it and I take it. Um... This is worth 150 experience, so we're taking it. Just stealing from everybody, trying to take control, to keep control in our hands. Junkyard surprise is, as it says, a surprise that can go either way. Can boost some stats, can decrease some stats, as far as I know. Everything's possible. And we're taking this, because... The coin is too little, and in combat we'll need that. Lenny the Cook. Lenny the Cook is a killer, actually. Um, I'll take the healing stuff, thank you, sir. If we take the healing stuff from all the guards, and later on the firefight breaks out, which will, which it will, um, we have far better chances of survival. And we'll be getting better at pickpocketing at some point, so... Good for us as well. Remember, if you get into into a firefight with anyone here, the entire set here will turn hostile. And everyone will be on your heel. That is interesting. We, however, go for the healing. We always go for the healing if we can. Unless they have something super duper important that we absolutely have to have. Like this guy's um, combat knife thingy. Yay! One man's trash is another man's treasure. I'm not making this up. There should be nothing here right now. All the doors are locked, right? And they're locked in a way that I cannot break them open. Because it doesn't say, you know, like hacking anything or so. Oh, this is 85. 85! Like, what? Do I look like Einstein? Ooh. 
He will be important later on. Uh, he doesn't have anything. Woohoo! Extra experience. Lockpicking 20. Is it, uh, it? Does it make them hostile if I crack that? Because technically speaking, it's not protected by anyone, right? Woohoo! Another 75 experience for free. We only need to do this a couple hundred times and uh, everything will be great. Does he has No, he has an, an assault rifle, right? I was just thinking he was running around with a light machine gun. Ooh, everyone here is super aggressive. Take all their um, adrenaline if you can. Because they can do nasty stuff with that. Gives them extra actions, gives them extra movement. And yeah, we don't have one or the other, so... We'll take their weapons just to be on the safe side. Everyone is fishing here. You could fish yourself. Again, you can get everything out of the water. Weapons, ammunition. I'm not sure about ammunition, but fish, weapons, weapons, parts, everything is down there. It's interesting. Very interesting. And they have 5mm rounds, special ones. And adrenaline shots that we take. He has um, a sniper rifle. So I'm assuming he has sniper ammunition. And he's more... More... Active than the others are. Because he's ob obviously aware. Ooh, that's, that's a tough call. Because 11 of those... No, we take the healing. First we take the healing. That's the most important part. The more healing we take, the easier they die. And we're getting a lot of cobars. Holy hell. Don't know what we need all that for, but we'll know soon enough. Everybody has a cobar these days. What are they doing? Hello, sir, Gert. Do you have an armadillo? No, he doesn't. But he is buying traps, raw explosives, packs of cutrop, firearm parts, and armor parts. That is interesting. He has tungsten steel plates that we can technically make into armor. However, practically not because uh, we don't have the skills. Sledgehammer, mine, and hand grenades. And he is selling armor belts and parts of a machine gun. Granite launcher iron sights. Yeah, he's not buying ergonomic handle for miniguns. <laughs> for miniguns, yeah, why not? I mean, okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Good sir, good sir. Will you allow me to empty your pockets, please? Oh, he has a beautiful amount of coin. That we will steal when the type is time is ripe. When the time is ripe. Sir. I'm watching you, punk. Is this your lucky day, punk? Whatever, punk. Uh, I want your adrenaline. Oh, he has shotgun ammunition. That's interesting. This, I think, is one of the leaders. There are two gangs here. It will uh, try to play both against the middle. That's kind of the idea. Eddie, my friend. You have coin... A key, we take the ammunition, because that's the ammunition for a weapon. Tell me about the scrappers, that's my gang. Okay, um, I think we first have to ask about the armadillo parts before they give us the 
quest, right? Mushrooms, yeah, this is locked. Do not, do not look for trouble with these guys. They're not very good at, uh, you know, keeping it friendly. Maybe, just because we have it now, we should get ready to defend ourselves in case of an emergency. <laughs> because I have a machine gun. Machine gun. Machine gun. Okay. Hoppers and red hounds. Okay. Did I already steal from you, sir? We have to be re really careful to whom we come close here because some of the people here do not react very well on us getting too close to them. And then, you know, they get all aggressive and, and shooty and, and that kind of stuff, and we don't like that. We want to be friends with everyone. As long as they're more powerful than we are. 160 life points. I have barely more than you have, sir. That's a shame. This cannot be opened. Restricted area. I cannot walk in here. They would see that as aggression. So we're not doing that, obviously. Okay, I take his ammunition, even though this is... What he's using is a sniper rifle, so technically speaking. Um, he will not run out of ammunition, anyhow. By the way, water is the most deadly thing. There is no way in hell you can get into water in any sort or form. There will be... Oh. Okay, I'll take that. We can already go in there. That's funny because I thought that was extra restricted. But it seems like you can just already go in there without even having the quest. Which is super funny. Tell me about the old junkyard. Is there another way in? How so? Talk to Silas the Dogmaster. Before I talk to anyone, I'll... Yeah, we we're not going stealthy here, because obviously we're so terrible at stealth. We're a guy in a riot armor. We're not going to stealth our way out of this anyway. You will lose one of the traders anyway in the end, because you will fight one of the groups. And yeah, some of them will go hostile, others will be your friends after this. And all is said and done. Oh, he's using armor-piercing ammunition. Impressive, sir. Impressive. Is there a gun on the ground? The adrenaline. We'll take the adrenaline shot from him first. Dockmaster Sealers. Um, are you the head honcho? <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is the head honcho. The wormhole. I can find on the market how much. Let's hear it. Solve a problem. Go on. Okay, that's a mission. Okay, we'll do it. Sounds like fun. Name's Grover. We know who that is. Oh, wait, I didn't steal from you. Oh, where are my manners, sir? I'm really sorry. Of course I steal from you. 540 life points. Oh, yay, 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 yay. 
I can just take your ammunition. The rest is too well protected. <gasps> Impressive. So. Yeah, I was somehow hoping there were... <coughs> Something else I can steal from, you know, some junkyards or something. It wasn't. Ooh, and look at this. Everyone is hostile here. Everything is locked up. And I'm not that fast at stealing. I think you can take a perk that you're actually faster at stealing, but I don't have that. And this is a pretty nasty knife, sir. I like it. And I will take your adrenaline shot. And there is more evildoers down here. But everything is protected. If I go an anywhere, they will see that as a course of action, a course of hostility, and will open fire on me. And then I basic well, I can still go on with the story if I was able to kill everyone, which I will most likely not be. At least not at this point. So, um... I could take the insignia that is worth, or I take the healing. I take the healing. Because I can take the insignia from their dead, cold hands. Without any problems. There's some really evil thugs there. Vince and his gang. They're going to ruin your life in no time. I cannot jump over here because it's agility 7 and we're like agility 3. Well, 4 thanks to the boots, but you know what I mean. We're pretty terrible at this. And we cannot lay a quazillion traps because these guys here will get all hostile on us. The thugs, as far as I know, are not connected to them. So technically... I could ruin their lives uh, without them getting that angry on me, hopefully. I could open up, you know, with a grenade here. Oh boy, are these guys poor. This is protected. This is protected. I think I'll take your ammunition and your coin. Two hundred and twenty health points. Wowzies! Lock picking eighty five. Holy sh! That's a lot. Okay, let's talk to the other guys here. Or well, we could do the mission with Gorski to start with. But why not play? both sides against the middle, you know, take the missions from both and do them as far as we can and then start murdering everyone. Hello, I need to get into the old junkyard. Some drill pods. What kind of favor? Sounds simple enough. I'm listening. Here's what you do. Go to the slums past the camping area back alley to the north. There is a gambling house back there. Looking for a guy named Elwood. Get his keycard of him. No idea we get it. And find him if he can and absolutely kill him for it. Make sure no one sees you. Okay, I'll do it. Uh, I think in order to get there, we have to go to the choke, po choke point where the evildoers are. So, how many health points do you have, sir? 220, which is actually a lot. But I've got a nasty surprise for you, sir. This absolutely deadly weapon.
Six two. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dog Master's money. That's not good enough, Grover. Um. That's pathetic. That's, we make, must make sure that we don't kill him instantly. Oh crap, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to shoot you. That was a waste of ammunition, right? I'm really sorry about that. Can he take one more? I don't think he can. You are aware that I'm armored, sir. I think he's not. Okay, he's giving up. Speak quickly. There is enough money, you're off the hook. Yay! That was close, because if this guy would have joined the fight... Boy, would we have been in trouble. Oh, we're not completely... Wait, how much does this fill up 30 energy? So before we talk... She's got 150 health points, okay. She has the energy core and some coin... Mind your own business. You can walk away. She has a knife! Unbelievable! If you're stealing my experience, I warn you, sir. You will regret this day. You didn't. Okay. She just has the knife, which is not the worst. And a piece of armor that increases agility. Not too shabby. Uh, yeah, there is still one more thing we need, and that is your head. Fight me! This saves money and gives experience. 216! Good thing I killed that man. Good thing I killed that man. How beautiful is that? And durability of the weapon, by the way, is also excellent. That reminds me of something. This Abraham guy. Did we take his stuff? He's really dangerous. But dangerous doesn't stop me from taking. Insufficient skill. Okay, he really knows what he's doing. But fine by me. Okay. About that Grover guy, give him the head. Yeah, that's kind of dangerous. That's a really dangerous mission. The question is how to proceed from here. Technically, we could pay the fine and just walk through them. But why should I pay people that I can kill? Know what I mean? Could also kill him first in a surprise attack, 
How many life points do you have? 220, that's a lot. But technically, I could kill him first and then take out the thugs here and then take out the civilians here and then go after them. As an idea. Lock picking 85. How good is my lock picking skill? Nowhere close to that. Yeah, it's 50. So no way in hell we're going to pull that off. I see the problem I do. So the question is, kill these guys, all of these guys before that. And then, in, because if we start laying traps here for these guys, um, they will all get, you know, uh, like hostile. These guys will get hostile because we put the um, traps too close to them. And um, can we handle them? I think actually we can. I think we should be capable of handling them. Shouldn't be that hard to handle them. Lopez, they will they will turn hostile. And now they did. Oh crap, he's got a super knife. I didn't see that coming. You know what? I've got so many of these things. Yeah, I cannot attack him anyway, so we're running away. I got 97 experience points for him. That's quite okay. And done. Okay, he hadn't any equipment. He has. And he has quite the impressive weapon, by the way. For a guy that is basically living on the streets. I wonder how close one can get to these guys without um, getting them angry. Do we have enough traps to kill everyone? I think we have. I think we're fine. And we still have the machine gun, so if push comes to shove, we just get out the big guns and shoot everyone to smithereens. Let's not forget, that is what we're actually in here. Yes, I'm laying all the traps, but the point is, we won't need all the traps. We'll just need a portion of them, and the rest will collect afterwards. At least that's the plan. I still think I have to kill the thugs down here, because technically speaking, they will engage us uh, when the firefight commences. And I don't want to get sandwiched, if you know what I mean. That would, would be bad playstyle if we let ourselves get in the middle of things. We'll need three rows of traps and our explosives, but we have we have plenty on explosives, so no problem there. Do we need three ranks of traps? Yes, we do. You could even say we should make another row of traps here, just to make sure that they're not getting through. There will be no one else moving here, so it's not like um, it's not like they can outmaneuver us that way. Although someone might take the short route over here. Good point. Good point. Good point. I hope this guy doesn't take this as offense. No, he does not. We're fine. Good. One more trap here. And then we'll power up our energy weapons again. 
that are still in beautiful shape. As is our other weapon. We're running low on batteries, though. This weapon is extremely power hungry. That is true. That is true. That is true. We don't have a belt. We don't have a shield generator. We don't have a real helmet. These guys don't have shield generators, right? No, they don't. They're just, you know, morons. Okay, we'll stop it here, and we'll see each other next time. Bye!